I just saw people flying in the air like dolls. A local middle school class and I witnessed to a horrifying scene. They were on a field trip when a car mowed down pedestrians in New York's Times Square. Tonight, we know the identity of the woman killed in the crash. Good evening, I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Yuki Washington. The victim is 18-year-old Alyssa Ellsman, a tourist from Michigan. Her 13-year-old sister was among those hurt. 22 people were injured, four critically. Police say the suspect, Richard Rojas, has a history of driving under the influence. Some students from Philadelphia in New York City today witnessed the crash, and our Alexandria Hoff has their story tonight. Alex? Well, Yuki, Jessica, those two buses returned to the school around 9.30 tonight, met by many relieved parents. A shocking scene that has shaken students from St. Cecilia's School in Northeast Philadelphia to the core. I started running and I was crying, making sure my friends were okay. The group of eighth graders were on a field trip to see a Broadway play in New York's Times Square when just before noon, a speeding car came barreling the wrong way down 7th Avenue to the busy intersection of 42nd Street. He just accelerated. He wasn't stopping and ran on the pavement and hit quite a few people. And I, I just saw people flying in the air like dolls. At that point, Tamika Spaulding says she rushed as many of the children as she could into the nearby Sephora store. An 18-year-old woman was killed and 22 others were injured before that car came to a crashing halt. All students and staff in the St. Cecilia's group of nearly 100 were unharmed. Like it was a mess and then we saw a car smoking. Police have identified the driver as 26-year-old Bronx resident Richard Roaz, a man with a history of DUI arrests. He was tackled by officers as he attempted to flee the vehicle. New York City officials have called the act accidental and do not believe it was an act of terrorism. Hugs were on hand as the buses returned to Philadelphia and the one word used to describe this trip, blessed. We're just blessed, yeah. all of us, what all of us, trip. right? Yeah. 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 Now, Tamika also wanted to extend a thank you to those working in that Sephora store that the group had sheltered in. She said the employees there gave the students water and hugs and helped them feel safe. Reporting live in Northeast Philadelphia, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.